when you were wee and you used to peel all the skin off the green grape and then eat the grape because mm -hmm. then it was like uninterrupted by skin when you when you eat the grape <sighs> uninterrupted by skin <laughs> <laughs> sounds horrible <laughs> that sounds all kinds of horrible <laughs> that's how I want all my days to be from now on <laughs> uninterrupted by skin <laughs> I made that on a t-shirt. <laughs> we don't, don't interrupt you with your skin. <laughs> I'm Jen. My name's Rachel. Welcome to our channel. We are Whiskey Geeks. Not Whiskey Snobs. So if you like all things whiskey. And you're not a snob. Subscribe. subscribe. We're trying an American whiskey today. Lovely. Like going a bit exotic. Yeah. Across the pond. <laughs> something that's not Scottish. <sighs> what are we trying? So we're trying, um, what are we trying? Elijah Craig. There we go. Elijah Craig. Like, what are we trying? <laughs> Elijah Craig straight up bourbon. Straight bourbon. Straight, straight up. up. <laughs> Can I have it with straight up, please? What does that even mean? I don't know. Straight, straight up. Straight up. There's just no nothing, ice. Nothing in it. Yeah. So st you're right. Straight you're up. Wrong. Straight, straight up. up. Bulletproof. Bulletproof. What is it called? Something proof. Full proof. <laughs> What's bulletproof? I don't know. What you're is just bulletproof? making stuff up tonight. It's a bulletproof bottle. No. Uh, it's straight bourbon. It's something proof. Um, barrel proof. Oh yeah, barrel proof. Barrel proof. Barrel proof. Sorry, which not just bulletproof. Means it's um, uncut is right, another yeah, word that yeah. they use so that we don't tend to use here. It just means it doesn't. it's not been cut with water when it's come out of the barrel. Yeah, okay, cool. It's not a bullet proof. It's it will not survive a bullet. 65.5%. Okay. No, I mean, that. that's strong enough to survive a bullet. Probably, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, it smells lovely. It does. It smells like really like velvety and rich yes, and Yes, velvety. And so the, this is an older bottling from them as well, I think. I know it's at least after 2017, I think. No, as in the age of this is at least 12 years yes. for this bottle. Sorry. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> after 2017. I thought you meant an older bottling as in previous. Tim bought it ages ago. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's at least 12 years. Because I know they did their... They used to do their standard 12-year-old. Mm -hmm. um, but they scrapped that. Yeah. I think, and that's their standard one is now non age statement, mm -hmm. but their barrel proof is now 12 years. But there is a wee bit of controversy because you know how it doesn't have the 12 on the front of the bottle? I was going to say about that, right? Yeah, so yeah. they've hidden it away around the side. Why? So people think it might eventually just <gasps> fall off, off and, and be not... a non age statement. Right. But their, eight, their um, standard one that used to be the 12 is now apparently 8. That is slightly more a thing in American whiskey, it seems anyway, that different words mean this is how long it's been aged for, instead yeah. of necessarily age statements on there all the time. Yeah, so uh, bourbon doesn't have to be, it only has to be in an oak barrel, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. no set length of time. Mm -hmm. um, I think you could put it in there for like a week, and Yeah, like a day short at the barrel, which is quite, I, I find that confusing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You regulate but that, then a but... straight bourbon is two years. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and they're they're matured in these big tall warehouses. Have you seen them? I don't think so. No. So apparently they're they're like big tall warehouses, like out out in the open. Mm -hmm. And so when um, when the sun's hitting them, because obviously they're it's in Kentucky, so it's hot, hot in the summer, cooler in the winter, but like hot, hot in the middle of the day as well in the summer, really, really high temperatures. So the um, especially the barrels at the top of the warehouse they get really, really hot and they can actually go up in alcohol percentage. Wow, right, Because yeah. they're losing more water than they are alcohol mm -hmm. somehow with the extra heat. Mm -hmm. And lots and lots more than more than here, lots and lots more like expansion and contraction in and out of the wood. Mm -hmm. So I guess it matures quicker. Yeah. It'll yeah. get more intense flavour more quickly than it would if it was here. And they'll lose a lot more as well, presumably. Yeah, I think so. I think they can lose... Oh, I can't remember the percentage. I think they can lose a lot more. For like 12 years, then you're you're losing quite a substantial... Yeah, and it's... Is it Heaven Hill Distillery? Heaven that Hill, yeah, this. that make this, yep. Because they've got lots of brands, don't they? Or a good, they a good do, chunk of brands. They do, so I know they've got... What's the other one they do? Evan Evan Williams. Uh huh. That's the other one that I, that I know that they do. You said that to me like I'd be like ah yes Evan Williams and I'm sure. Oh, I don't. Like, oh, I know that one. I know that, but I know uh, I'm, not, I'm sure I've had it. Um, and they have. I think they have different mash bills for each one. Mm -hmm. that have written the mash bill down for this one. 
Is it less, at least 51% corn? Ah, so to be a bourbon, it has to be at least 51% yep. corn, but they say it's a low rye bourbon. Mm -hmm. So they use 75% corn, 13% mm -hmm. rye, and 12% barley. And it's malted there, barley for the enzymes. So, because you're more into your American whiskies than me, or you've tried a bit more at least, mm -hmm. is there a particular mash bill preference you have, or a mash bill pre like you're like, oh, I really like a corn heavy mash bill, or I prefer a rye heavy mash bill? I think. I think probably corn. Do you I think, think it's I think it's sweeter. Which I like, yes, definitely. Think, definitely. Because yeah. the rye rye for me equals dry. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. got that slightly yep. drier, yep. like kind of farmy, kind of or not harsher, like harder kind of flavour. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So yeah, I think the more corn it has, the sweeter, usually. And this does smell it's so sweet, like so the longer sweet. it's been yeah. in the glass. And it's velvety, it's it's uh, yeah. Velvety's so a really good way of describing yep. it. And it's like, um, oh, I got a bit of the ABV there. That's the first time smelling it this whole time, though. I've got a bit like, uh -huh. oh, that <laughs> does smell a wee bit strong. <laughs> it smells quite strong. So 65.5, like, whoa. It's like candied fruits or something, yeah, almost. There's like. so much flavour there. It's quite leathery. Oh, I just want to keep on smelling that. Oh, it, is, it's it like smells tutti, amazing. It's like and salad, uh, fruit salad sweeties. Yep, definitely. And quite, I'm getting a lot of caramel. A lot of sugary, Ooh, sugary flavours. Yeah. But a wee bit grapey as well. A wee bit grapey? Grapey. You are on it this yeah. evening. It is <laughs> grapey. Weird it, is, it is like a wee bit like like um, grape juice green. but also fresh grapes. Green grapes. So right. we try yeah, it. Yeah, let's try it. Without even having tried it. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that is so good. Mm. Oh my god, yes. Oh. The heat is there, but it just oh, it just complements everything. It's so intense. Yeah. Like it's warm and spicy, and it's oh. In the middle, right in the middle, I had something very specific, and it's gone now. A wee bit aniseed, though. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Spices it's got as well. Like a calm, warm aniseed. aniseed. Yeah, a calm, warm aniseed. That's mm -hmm. a good way to describe it. Yeah. It's got. See things that are that, are that percentage of alcohol it's not only like the flavours you get it's like the mouth sensation you get yeah. so it almost evaporates yeah. really quickly uh -huh. does that uh -huh. make sense so that was like really delicious lovely like sweet thick flavours that kind of all wrapped themselves up and then finished at the same time mm -hmm. and it was lovely mm -hmm. and I've got a nice like woody dry mm. slightly sweet flavour left I really like that there is something Strong. so specific right in the middle of that like now. Mm. And then slightly just after that it gets slightly piney. I definitely got the pine. Mm -hmm. I definitely got the pine. Well, I really like that. I couldn't drink a huge amount of it because it's very intense. Mm. Should we try it with some water, water actually? Good, like yeah. de intensify it a wee bit. Okay, it's smelling a wee bit more spirity mm. to me now. Mmm. Oh, but sweeter. It's kind of like when you used to go for pick and mix mm -hmm. and you get like a 30p pick and mix. If you got all of them and put them all in at one time. Yeah, definitely. It's just like it's a mash of, a mash of sweeties. sweeties. Yeah. Mmm. I do love that. that it's, I it's, love it's, that. You can, you can taste it as quite alcoholic. Like you can feel it mm -hmm. warming. But it's really eyed by a bottle. Of yeah, that. that's delicious. That one. And that was Tim who dropped that in. I was just going to say, yeah, thank you very much, Tim. Thanks for visiting. Sorry we weren't here. I know, I know. I think we got our days mixed up slightly. But we're here every, most of the time. We are. We're <laughs> literally here all the time. So yeah, no, Tim and Kathleen popped in and they're from gold, gold country, is it? Yeah, they brought us some I gold. Know, they How us cool was that? We each got our own little wee pot of gold. I know, how nice, how nice. We've, so cool. We're leaving them here because we will lose them if we bring them home. They're going to go in our grail cabinet, yep, pride yep, of place, yep. uh, beside all our fancy bottles so, on display for all our tasters much. to see. So, and I hope you. you had a fantastic time as well. Yeah, yeah. hope you got some good bottles while you were yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. I don't mean in our shop. In general. I mean, great here, but yeah. <laughs> generally, it's around Scotland, tried some tasty drams. So thank you so much for for that. That's oh, this is such a, a really treat. tasty dram. It's delicious. Oh, so good. Apricots now in this mm. Love that. So fruity pig and mix sweeties. Yep. Yep. Mm. Oh. Well, thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed it. 
and if you want to see more videos like this subscribe down here and click on the wee bell so that it notifies you when we upload as well I learned that Oh, so you're going to slide me. Yes, 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 there's the bell, there's the bell, click the bell and you can watch more of our reviews as well if you'd yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. Cheers. Slash. Thank you for joining us, we hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, please give it a like and a subscribe. And you can follow us on social media at The Grail Tastings. See you next time, Slange. Perfect. That's so good, I love it. It's so nice, isn't it? You can feel mm. it's warm, but oh my gosh, mm. that is delicious. Mm. It's really, really good. Um, what do we know?